Hi there, my name's Amo, and in this video I'm going to introduce the concept of action sequences. So an action sequence is exactly that. It's just a series of actions that run in response to an alert. So let's, uh, let's kind of quickly see how that works. So let's say we have a scenario where we want a situation where we push a button, and we want that button to switch to scene two, hold for a few seconds, and then switch back to scene one. Well, an action sequence is just what we need for that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a hotkey, and this hotkey um, will fire this on press alert whenever I press space bar. And so now I'm gonna pull a wire out of on press and I'm gonna attach it to this action sequence thing that appears when we, whenever we pull a wire out. And so now I have the ability of adding our, our steps that will happen in the order in which they're added. So the first thing we wanted to do is we're gonna to wanna to emit an alert. And this will basically um, switch to scene two um, immediately. So as soon as I press this button, the first thing that happens is it's gonna to switch to scene two. The next thing we want to do is wait for a few seconds. So we're going to set this to three seconds. And lastly, we're going to emit another alert, which will then allow us to connect the wire to scene one. So that will then call that will then switch back to scene one after uh, three seconds has, has gone by. So if we read these wires as set up, when we press spacebar, it's going to call uh, this sequence of events. The first thing it's going to do is switch to scene two. It's going to wait three seconds and then switch back to scene one. So I'm going to hit spacebar. Scene two, three seconds, back to scene one. So this is the main idea of action sequences. We can kind of structure and organize a series of steps, of action steps to happen in the order in which they're added. And then we can resort these as needed. Um, and when we're done, we can just close this action sequence uh, dialog by hitting the X button. Uh, it's still there. If we hover our mouse over the on press alert, we'll see that we can get back to where we left off. Um, by hovering over that, but this just allows us to kind of hide it uh, and let us continue working. So another example might be, um, let's let's create another um, action sequence here. Let, let, let's say we want to create a button that starts recording a video uh, for 10 seconds and then stops recording that video. We can do that also with this action sequence. So I'm going to create another hotkey and this one I'm going to set to the F1 key. Whenever we press F1, we're going to create an action sequence. And the first thing we're going to do is start recording a video. So I'm going to attach this to the record output. That will start recording a video to our file system. We're then going to wait for, I don't know, five seconds. And then we're going to stop recording. So we're going to emit another alert that I'm going to reattach to this, to the record button. And it'll repress that button basically after five seconds, which will cause it to stop recording. So let's go ahead and test that. F1. It's going to record for five seconds. Maybe I'll switch to this scene during that time with the other action sequence, switch back, and now it's done recording that video. So that's another example of using an action sequence to kind of kind of automate a series of actions. So I'm going to show you one more example of using an action sequence. And for this example, we're going to influence something inside our scene. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just create this, this breakable box object in our scene. And this breakable box basically is this box that breaks into pieces when we throw it around or in response to this explode action. So I'm going to make it a little bit more explosive. Um, by making it explosive, every single time we hit explode, it breaks into pieces. And if we hit explode again, it breaks into the next level of pieces. Explode again, breaks into another uh, set of pieces. So basically we're going to write an action sequence that will, will, ha will cause that to happen in, in stages. So again, I'm going to create another hotkey here uh, for our alert. I'm going to set this to the number one, um, and I'm going to create an action sequence every single time we hit one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to emit an alert that causes this box to explode. I'm then going to have it wait for a second. I'm going to have it emit another alert that will cause it to explode again. That will explode it down to the next level. I'm going to have it wait again for a second, and lastly, have it emit another uh, tier of explosions. And then after maybe waiting again, um, I'm going to have it then reset the box back to its original state by using the reset. Uh, action here. So this is going to basically um, in three stages cause the box to break down into smaller and smaller pieces and then we'll reset it back to the original box every single time we hit one. So let's see what happens. One, stage one, stage two, stage three, and then clean up back to the initial stage. Again, hit it again. One, two, three, back to normal. Back to the... So there's lots of stuff you can kind of play with and configure and um, yeah, action sequences are a good way to kind of organize these kind of more complex states. Um, so I hope that um, was interesting and useful, and I will see you next time.